Hello everybody, today I'm going to be telling you kind of how I started playing Star Stable and stuff, like, and how I've kind of progressed through, through that. I, I love videos like these, just, you know, hearing how people started playing the game and their experience early on. I'm going to train Void while I do this, go in Wenglish today. So this isn't scripted because I'm way too lazy for that. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to wing it. Okay. Uh, I started playing in May of 2017. Honestly, I thought I started playing earlier than that, like 2015, 2016. But when I asked Star Stable, that's when they said my account was made. So, May 2017. And wow, it's May right now. It was like mid-May though. But imagine I posted on the same day. How we found out about, I'm, I say we, me and my sister shared an account. Star Stable, don't ban me, we're, we're, we're little kids, okay? How we found out about it was, uh, Honey Heart C. Her name's just like Honey now. I meant- Okay, I'm not gonna rant about that. Um, uh, we saw her first videos of her playing Star Stable Witch. And we were like, oh, we should get this game. I was really into horses. I'm still am. Um, my sister, not as much. But, like, she, she thinks they're cool, I guess. Um, so we downloaded the game with our dad's help. And- for our, like, character, I think my sister chose Sienna and I chose Meadowhook, which is, um, I mean, doesn't really make a lot of sense when you think about it. I mean, it doesn't sound too bad. <laughs> so from then on, we just started playing the game. I think the first horse we bought was either one of the Yorvik ponies, the bay one, to Royal Strawberry, or the, like, old thoroughbred, like the Gen 1.5 one, uh, who's called Party Petal. I think my sister picked uh, Royal Strawberry's name, I picked Party Petals. I think the last horse we bought together, so I guess this would have been our fourth horse, was Silent Warrior, which was the Dapple Grey Shire, the old one. I think that's the last horse we bought together, but it also could have been the Bay Pentabian Emerald Spark. Uh, I don't remember who named those ones. When we got to Yarlheim, we tried to like get into Devil's Gap, not by any like glitching means, like we just... We didn't try to get in it, okay? We just wanted to see what was inside. So, we, like, climbed to the top of that little hill, you know, by the gate. I was, like, obsessed with Devil's Gap. <laughs> um, but we went too far in, and we got an aerial warning, and I had, like, a heart attack. Okay. We would try to make YouTube videos together, but obviously we didn't know how. <laughs> so I'd sit there with, like, our parents' phone or something, and just record the screen while my sister played and she'd never let me she'd never let me play you know older sisters for real not sure exactly when my sister made her account uh we're gonna call her ivy because I, I don't want to keep saying my sister um yeah she made her own account she got like the chestnut starter horse named her sapphire kiss her star stable name's ivy meadow peak so we went we went for the same middle name but uh she really didn't like the hook part so did her own thing with that, which, honestly, yeah. And then we continued to make, um, really bad YouTube videos after that. Uh, we figured out how to use a screen recorder, though, so that's nice. We made this really bad music video, but it was just, like, generic background music with our North Swedishes running through Dundal. I think that was our first video, I'm not sure. I think the videos might still be up, honestly, if you can find them. <laughs> which, uh, good luck. Actually, no, because you shouldn't see them, but I know we made videos of buying the Gen 2 Frisians together. I think hers was Faith Runner and mine was Bluebell. Bro, those horses, I miss when those were so popular. And honestly, they're, they're really nice. Some of my favorite Gen 2s. Although, I could say that for most Gen 2s, actually. We made like an hour-long video of training said Frisians with our little chipmunk voices. Some other videos we made, um, we made like a truth or dare video. We just like dared each other and stuff, which honestly, that's not a, that's not a bad idea. And then we made a dressage video with the Gen 1 Frisians, or like that kind of model Andalusians, whatever, with some other people. I think they were club members. I think they were club members. I can't remember. I think it was like Autumn Jumpers or something like that. I, actually, I don't think I was in the club, but but it got like 200 views and we're like, we're famous. Uh, Christmas, the Christmas event, 2017 probably. Um, 
That was like the first big event I remembered. I found a, f I found a friend in my grade that also played the game. So we, you know, played the game together. She moved away though, and I never saw her again, and she's never been on Star Stable again, so. But you know, it, it was a, it was a good time. I remember she like, really wanted a Lusitano horse. I think she ended up getting the chestnut one, uh, which I think it's really ugly, but it's also really nostalgic, so. We got some of the same horses, me and my sister. Like, we got the same Halflinger, same North Swedish horse. But then, like, my sister was, like, really against us getting the same horses. Not anymore, but obviously, but yeah. So sometimes we fought about that. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot about this. I was a little bit unhealthily obsessed, which happens to me a lot. Um, I would wake up, like, middle of the night to play Star Stable. And I would be like, come on, Ivy, let's play together. And she'd be like, what the frick, bro? Um, I remember it was when we were building the Yarrowhide Bridge. I would do that, and I would eat those little lifesaver mints, which now we think are disgusting, but they're so nostalgic, so I still have them sometimes. Because, like, that is the taste of nostalgia for me, literally. Um, I think that's before we started sharing an account. Some of these are out of order, but... I'm trying my best. Unlocking New Hillcrest was the best moment of my life, I think. Like, running from the GED workers or something with Herman, and, um, like, opening all the storm- opening the storm garden gate, and then going around opening all the other gates. It, it was the best thing ever, honestly. Ivy was also obsessed with the Icelandics, which, I mean, valid. Bro, the Gen 2 horses are so cute. <laughs> unlocking Golden Hills was another great one. I mean, unlocking any areas, really, but specifically those two. We're going to Guardian's Dale for the first time. Ooh, okay, so I watched Theory Pixel Biologist. I wish she, she still made more Star Stable videos. Actually, the last ones she posted were pretty much a year ago of the Western Festival, but before that, like, nothing. She plays a lot of games, though, so it's understandable, but, like, I watched her Star Stable videos, and, I don't know, it was a while ago now. It was probably, like, two years ago now. I re-watched re all of them, <laughs> and it was a great time. And then the other thing I remember watching that was really nice was Stacy Plays um, Starshine Academy games playthrough. I've played them all myself now. They're so good, they're so fun, I like, yes. But she was like the only one with Let's Plays of the game, with commentary. And honestly, I didn't really like her, still kind of. <laughs> but we were on a vacation. Uh, I was dehydrated from like the swimming swimming pool and everything. So I was having having a nice red Gatorade. It's the best flavor. Like, like uh, fruit punch, I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was... I think it was Alex's game. I think that's the... Actually, maybe that's the last one. Yeah, I think it's the last one. My little headphones on. And those um, shower curtain <laughs> blankets. Uh, hotel blankets. Which honestly are great. So don't even... I also was like terrified of the game at some points. Like the Saving Justin. Or maybe it wasn't... I don't think it was Saving Justin. I guess any part where I had to sneak through the dark court core oil rig. I was terrified. I'm um, kind of actually crying sometimes. Don't even worry about it, okay? For all this time, I'd kind of been making, um, kind of been making my own videos on and off. I made, like, bug and glitch videos. Like, not anything like sneaking into old areas or something. We all know I would never have the confidence to do that. But, like, uh, seeing the main style while we're running, you know, like, trying like, testing out the main style score, or, uh, uh, becoming invisible. Just harmless little things like that. Which, honestly, sneaking into, um, closed areas is harmless to you, but... I mean, I guess looking from a business standpoint, let's not get into that. <laughs> I think the first club, or it, it probably was, it definitely wasn't the first club, but the first memorable club me and my sister joined... There's, a, there's quite a bit of drama there. Um, I can't even remember what happened anymore, jeez. Usually I don't, I'm like, 
how do you forget stuff like that? I'm like, I don't remember what the drama was. I mean, I knew everybody hated me because I was a stupid little child, and honestly, um, I would have too. But yeah, I I named my recycling bin after the club leader for a little bit. I I feel like I just had to add that. I don't know. My sister uh, Ivy would sell some of her old generation horses, and I would I would buy them back because I was um, too emotionally attached to them. There's so much, I don't even know where to go. I met my online best friend through Star Stable 2. Uh, she was doing some YouTube videos, and she recognized me. She she didn't go by her Star Stable username on YouTube. And we, we became good friends. Uh, we still we still talk about briar horses sometimes, even now. But, like, not as, not as much as we used to, but... I used to be, like, a big club hopper, too. We made a video together where she bought a Chincoteague pony. I don't think those videos are still up. I had my own club for a little while called Sky Giants. It was a jumping club with, like, the fjord was the club horse and stuff. I was a really bad club owner and still am. I'm just not cut out for that. I, I made it a few times and it never did well. But my sister, but Ivy made uh, Moon Dancers which became very popular. It was a dressage club. Um, she's always been more into Star Stable dressage. Ooh, okay. Going back, going back a few years, um, we made our alternate account together, which we called it Dakota Fast Feather, which I still have the account. I still play on it sometimes. Actually, I just bought a Welsh pony that was on sale from all the Star Queen codes we've been getting. But we tried to make, like, a boy character. I, I don't know why. Okay, back to where we were. Moon Dancers was really popular. I was being an annoying little child, as usual. I, like, left the club multiple times and stuff. But eventually, Ivy did disband it. It was, it did, it was really good, though, honestly. Uh, I remember being so mad when they changed the club horse from the Lusitanos to the Frisians. Because the Frisians were too basic. And I still stand by that, but I was really freaking annoying. Then there was my online friends club, I don't know. Um, I don't know if she wants me to stay around and stuff. I mean, it's probably fine, but I'm just, yeah. Which I, I like, joined, and then I left, and I, I feel kind of bad about that, because, like, what? <laughs> um, I think it, I, I think I went to remake Sky Giants, and obviously it didn't work out. And then Ivy's real-life friend, we'll call her Charlotte. That's her star stable name, not her real name, but... Um, well, okay, we made, we made an account for our younger sister, but then we, we kind of gave it to Charlotte. Feels weird calling her name that's not her name. And then she kind of entered her horse girl era, which she has yet to leave. That's thanks to us, I guess. But she also did a lot of dressage and stuff. Then, not sure when this was, it was probably like 2020 or something, I joined my current club, the Rams. It's um really dead now, but I love the club. I I'm not leaving it. Okay, it got disbanded. It didn't get disbanded because like the name would have been taken and stuff. But uh you know, but then they reinvited everybody a little bit not that long ago. Or they did that a couple times because the owners are really busy. But we do still talk in the Discord server. Yeah, there were so many fun club events and stuff. I used to kind of dabble in, like, wild roleplays and stuff, and honestly, nothing nothing that weird ever happened. I'd always try to get Ivy to roleplay with me, but she absolutely hated it, so... Racking my brain now for anything else. I know I'm gonna look back on this video and I'm gonna have forgotten a million things. But that just means I can make a part two. More content. Okay, oh, okay, I have another one. I made another online friend that... It's not, not my friend anymore. Again, honestly, I have no idea what drama happened between us. Um, we were both... This time it's not just me being young and stupid, okay? Um, not to be rude, but we were, we were both. Um, yeah. Uh, I'd help her with music videos and stuff that she'd post. And honestly, it was a really good time. Really can't remember. I think she just started annoying me. I know, that sounds so bad. Like, I'm sorry. If you're watching this, I'm so sorry. Usually I'm not crazily excited for Star Stable updates, 
but when the Yorvik Wilds came out, and I mean the new ones, not the Magic Horses, I couldn't sleep. I woke up at like 5 in the morning. I wanted them so bad, and that sounds, that sounds bad. <laughs> um, I bought all of the first batch, and I still love them, okay? That was a bit, that was a bit much, though. <laughs> we're pretty yet, we're pretty much at like the end of the timeline, so I'm just gonna think uh, if there are any more little stories I can tell. I went through multiple phases of selling a lot of horses. Probably make my own separate video on that. <laughs> I don't know, I just had so much fun. That's really all I've got, I think, for now. Honestly, I don't have that many newer memories, but someday this will just be an old nostalgic memory. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, honestly. This was so much fun. Um, yeah. Bye.